much less known than the famous Kohinoor or Cullinan diamond. Nonetheless, it is one of the most special, majestic and famous diamonds in the world. It find its origin in India. But, one confirmed story about the diamond is, it was acquired by the then East India Company's governor of Madras, Thomas Pitt. He is said to have deceitfully smuggled the diamond outside India by hiding it in the shoes of his son, Robert Pitt. It is worth mentioning that Thomas Pitt was a very respected and prestigious person, and his grandson and great-grandson both had been prime ministers of Britain. This diamond found by Pitt made him famous, or rather infamous, not just in his, his own times, but in all the times to come, and earned him the epithet Thomas Diamond Pitt. The sale of this diamond amassed him enough money to make him one of the richest men in Europe and lay and secure the fortunes of his future generations. Upon reaching Europe, Pitt got this diamond, cut and polished by the jeweler Harris, who is said to have taken around two years to cut this diamond into its present cushion shape. The diamond was reduced to a size of 140.64 carat, which is 28.128 grams. The cutting cost him £25,000, but he made way more than that by selling the secondary diamonds and dust that came out of it. After all, it was a whopping 426 carat diamond originally, and no wonder that many small diamonds would have come out of it, even after keeping a big piece of 140.64 carat. It is said to be first bought by Philip II, Duke of Orleans, the then Regent of France, for about $650,000. On his name only, the Pitt Diamond's name was changed to Regent Diamond. This diamond happened to be so big and important that it continued to be part of crowns and ornaments of many kings and queens. Its famous wearers included none other than Napoleon Bonaparte himself, who got it embedded in his sword, and it was part of Louis XV, Louis XVI, and King Charles X coronation crown, Queen Marie Antoinette's black velvet hat, and Queen Marie Lekzinska's hat. Along with other precious jewels and diamonds, like Sansi Diamond and Hortensia Diamond, both of whom also happened to come from India, Regent Diamond was also stolen during the French Revolution and was found after a long period of about 15 months. After the Regent Diamond was found and recovered, it was loaned out to the Berlin businessman Sigmund Otto Joseph von Triskau and to a Dutch banker in Amsterdam because French economic condition was very bad, and major reason for the historic French Revolution. The money acquired from mortgaging the Pitts Diamond helped bankrupt France to keep its 14 French armies in the field. French armies had many victories after this. Napoleon Bonaparte, after these victories, considered the diamond a good luck charm and decided to wear it in the hilt of his sword. So is the diamond cursed, or it is lucky? It could be considered cursed because Louis XVI and Marie Antoinette were decapitated, Louis XVIII was exiled twice and ultimately died childless, Charles X was forced to abdicate the throne and died a horrible death of cholera, and Napoleon died in exile, filled with regret and haunted by a host of painful memories. So, is the regent diamond cursed? Side. Or, it could be considered lucky because it definitely brought immense fortune for Thomas Pitt and for many of his future generations. Napoleon Bonaparte attributed many of the French army victories to this diamond and therefore got it embedded in the hilt of his sword, though it is said that he died terribly. But there is one thing mentioned worthy, which is, when he was in exile in Elba, his wife carried the diamond to Austria where she took refuge with her son. So, is it possible that he lost finally because the diamond had gone away from him, though the Austrian king had returned the diamond to French treasury, but the lucky charm was away from Napoleon, could this have possibly lead to his eventual downfall? There could be history associated with this diamond, which we don't know and would never know, but we know one thing for sure. And it's the fact that as colonization begun, diamonds exchanged places and so does the prosperity and powers. It's impossible to determine the exact value of Regent Diamond. However, according to experts in 1791, 
its appraised value was 480,000 British pounds which is equivalent to 61,420,000 British pounds in 2021. In US dollars, this is equivalent to 76,337,075.40 and in Indian rupees, it will amount to 6,265,872,611.47. Isn't it surprising that so less is known about such special diamond, which has been associated with the rise and fall of empires, and even with an emperor like Napoleon Bonaparte? A diamond so huge and pricey, which could fetch money for a country like France to keep going. Do these gems and diamonds really have powers and luck associated with them, as the rich countries like India and South Africa started to come under colonial rule, and European countries would expand their rule and got rich and powerful at the same time? Was it the power of these diamonds that traded place? What is your opinion on this? Do diamonds and other precious stones really hold powers and bring good luck or curses powerful enough to wield significant effect? What are your thoughts on this and is there anything else about this diamond that you know? Let us know in the comment box. If you like the video, do share with your friends and it would be great if you like and subscribe to this channel. Humble thanks for watching.